today on Trisha. She disappears with a man she says is her best friend and nothing more. So you wake up and she's gone? She's gone. I can't name one person that leaves the person they love at 3 o'clock in the morning to go walk with a best friend. Her man is convinced they're best friends with benefits. She never brought us brought us around each other. I'm marrying a friend, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can offer her red locks. Oh, no, I'm good. Derek can call two, three minutes later. She stopped everything she's doing. I'll be back. And he believes he could be raising their baby. Before you say these results, I need to tell Sadir something. Krista left Stephen for his best friend. He started treating me terribly by cheating on me. The only person I could turn to for help was Stephen's best friend, Chad. Soon afterward, this little girl was born. Two potential daddies. You got the lying, cheating whore. Hey, you watch it. One angry grandma. You are not a father to her. And I don't Will a lie detector and DNA be enough to sort out this mess? It's all today on Trisha. Okay, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. What I want to know is how many people in the audience believe a woman in a relationship should be able to have a male best friend? Here's what's interesting. All the women said yes, and most of the guys said no. There's a shot. Now, on stage right now is Miriam. Miriam says she's at crossroads between the man she loves, and that's Sedarius, and her childhood best friend, Derek. You see, Sedarius is not only accusing Miriam of cheating with Derek, but believes Derek is the father of her 18-month-old son, Sedarius Jr. Miriam and Derek deny these accusations, but Sedarius isn't convinced, especially after catching them taking a stroll at three in the morning. Listen to his story. I grew up without a mother and a father. I always promised myself that if I ever had children, that I'd be the best father I could be to them. So when I met my girlfriend, Miriam, I found out that she had got pregnant. You know, I was really overwhelmed with joy. But now my biggest fear is that I feel like Miriam has been cheating on me with her best friend, Derek. But not only that, I feel that he could also be the father of Sedaris Jr. She swears that nothing's going on, but I wake up at 3 a.m. and she's gone. And you know where I catch her? I catch her taking a walk with Derek. I left Miriam for a year to work on my music career. And during that time, I suspect that Derek was playing the father to my son. I love Miriam and Sedaris Jr. with all my heart. And if I find out that she's been cheating, and sneaking around on me with Derek, then I'm done. It's over. Well, but to clear her name, Miriam also agreed to take a lie detector test. <laughs> so, we will have those results in a moment. But first, Miriam, how do you feel about what Sidarius is saying that you actually got with Derek and made this baby? Church, it really pisses me off because to know that I really love this man and him accusing me of sleeping with my best friend. I look at Derek like my brother. So when you go over to Derek's house, you take Sedarius, do you? No, I don't. Why I don't. Not? Because he would look at him like I was sleeping with him. They would start an altercation. I didn't want to lose my friend. I didn't want to lose the person that I love. So you've been keeping them apart? Yes. Oh. Yes. How is it if you want to spend time with Derek, what do you say to Sedaris? Do you, you say, hey, I'm going to go kick it with Derek and he's cool with that? No, I... One day, I waited till Sedaris was asleep. That was 3 o'clock in the morning. I waited till he was asleep and I... I left. Where did you yes. go? To Derek's house? Yes, I did. Let me ask you something. If Sedaris had a best friend who was female, would you be cool with him getting out of bed in the middle of the night and no, hanging I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. wouldn't. All right, so let me ask you, who is Sedarius Jr.'s... Who's the dad? Sedarius is his father. But and is he close to the little boy now? He is. Is he a good dad now? He, he is, and I know deep down in his heart he feel like he's the father, but I feel like he don't want to be hurt thinking that he, he son, he's his son, but it might not be. But I know for a fact that that's his father. So let's meet Sedarius.
Derek. Do you, do you really think that Derek could be the father of this little boy? Yes, ma'am. Why? Because she spent more time to him. And I feel like, you know, if you love me like you say you do, then why you can't open up to somebody you love? That's because every time I try to talk to you, Sedaris, all you do is talk over me. How can I get anything said, anything understood, if you don't listen? You, you do never the same listen. Thing. You do the same thing. If I'm trying to explain something to you, you cut me off. And you tell me every day, don't throw rocks if you live in a glass house. Practice what you preach. Okay, but that, that, that has nothing to do with the situation. It's got everything to do with it. It's got okay. everything to do with the situation. Because if you're telling me I cut you off all the time, but you're doing the same thing to me, then how it ain't clicking in your head that you're doing the same thing? We we're going to talk. If we want to have a conversation, maybe you need to have a couple of seconds to talk, then me. But every time I try to talk, when it comes for me to talk, you always saying what you have to say. But cut me off. But, Once but again, feed me practice this. what you preach. Let me talk when I'm talking now. You okay, just cut I'll me off you then. You, you, you won't let me talk now. So, do you ever suggest a scenario? Do you ever, ever say, hey, let's go to the movies or anything like that? I offer, you know, I offer. It's a lot of times. I could offer her Red Lobster. Oh, no, I'm good. Derek Why would I go call? anywhere hey, with you? you? Why go? would I go anywhere you with you and it anywhere? ends up the same way? Every Once time. again, practice Every what time. you preach. So You're still on. cutting me off. So, so there is, you were saying sometimes you say, let's go out, let's do something, yeah. and she says no, and no. then what? She rings Derek? Derek can call two, three minutes later. She stop everything she doing. I'll be back. I don't stop everything I do. You're just saying that. Does I'll that be hurt? Back. Yeah, it hurt. It really do hurt, because I care about her. I love her. I can't sit here and say I don't love her. actually admitted that she got up in the middle of the night to go see her best friend. And you knew that, did you? No, I didn't. I was asleep. So you wake up and she's gone? She's gone. That's so, because if reason? you are woke, you wouldn't have let me go at all. It don't matter. You never asked. Out of everybody I know in a relationship, I can't name one person that leave the person they love at 3 o'clock in the morning to go walk with a best friend. Well... Do you know Derek? No, ma'am, I never got to know Derek. And I honestly can say that I really don't have a problem with Derek because he's just a man just like any other man. But you say you love me, you care about Derek. If I got somebody I love, I'm going to introduce you. Hey, look, this somebody important to me, man. This is who I love. OK, but so if you say it ain't gonna be, the same way, it ain't gonna each be. time, I wouldn't do that. It's I'm not, not going to be. my friendship because you mad, because you think I'm sleeping with him. Well, I'm not going to bring him up into your our life so you can ruin so, my friendship. So basically you do away. care more about Derek. I never said that. You saying it I now. never said that. You saying That's it right now. That's my friend. I look at him like my brother. What do you mean? But, but hang on just a minute. Just a minute. I have to tell you I have one of my closest friends of some 25 years happens to be a guy. Now the first thing in fact when my husband my now husband asked me out for a date I rang this guy and I said what do you think and and he said this is so exciting for you I can't wait to meet him now my my husband and my best male friend now are really tight they're good friends well I'm not I, I didn't basically just hide him I didn't hide him I was just keeping our friendship how could you not hide somebody if you knew him for five years you knew me for two what was I at in those two years when you still knew him? You never said, okay. hey, I want, to, I want you to meet somebody that I care about. Because if you care about him, then I want to make and sure he's looking out for said, you oh, as you're your brother. with him too, huh? But if you That's care exactly about him, what then, you like I said, How'd I want to make know? sure y'all looking at, okay, this is your, like your brother. Let me make sure it's like your brother. Let me make sure he won't hurt you neither if you care about him. You don't let me know that. So that's letting me know you don't care about me. I do care about you. Do you really have doubts about whether you're the father of Sedarius Jr., or is this about being angry and feeling shut out? I, I really do have doubts, Trish, because, you know, like I said, she's just too close with him. She, she's in love with him? Three o'clock in the morning. That explain it all. You no, do? that don't explain nothing. That just explains morning. that I left at three o'clock in the morning. Oh, so how would you feel if I get up out the bed and go take a walk with a female at three o'clock in the morning? Ain't you no know, way in hell I can tell you we was just not. on a walk. I'm going to. Oh, exactly. You going? That's exactly what she I said. Going I'm too. going so too. So why you didn't wake me up and say, "Come on, let's go. We about to go walking." <laughs> you wanna win? If that's the case, if that's the case, then how you gonna say I wouldn't win if you never bothered to ask? Because I know you. You saying this like I don't know you. So if you leave somebody that you know get mad about this stuff, then why wouldn't you wake them up and let them know to keep from causing a confrontation when you come back home? That would have caused a confrontation before I left. I wouldn't even have got the chance to leave to come back. 
what happens if it, if it turned out that Miriam and this Derek had fooled around together, but then the little boy was yours? Would you be able to forgive her and take her back like she's obviously forgiven you and taken you back? I can't say that I won't because, like I said at the beginning, I love her. I can't, I can't help the fact that I love her. I get mad, well, show but I me love that. her. Show me that. I get mad, but I love her. Let's take a break because I want to talk about this further when we come back. And, uh... Also, when we come back, we'll meet Miriam's friend, Derek. This is the man Sedarius claims she's secretly sleeping with. We'll also reveal the DNA and the lie detector test results, so stay tuned. Up next... Is your girl going to walk with a male at 3 o'clock in the morning? She might if that's her best friend, but you going to let her. Yeah, and Rudolph's outside. There you go, bro. And later... Two potential daddies. You don't put a lie, cheating whore. Oh! You are one angry grandma. You are not a father, though. You know And a little girl caught in the middle. And he has not seen her in over a year. I never seen her. Oh! Outrageous oh, DNA watch. drama. <laughs> Today on Trisha. Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, sitting next to me is Miriam and her boyfriend, Sidarius, who insists that his family is being torn apart by this man. This is Miriam's childhood best friend, Derek. Now, he suspects that Miriam and Derek are more than just friends. In fact, he believes perhaps Derek may have fathered 18-month-old Sidarius Jr. Now, Derek says it's not true. He's just a friend, and he's not going anywhere. So, let's meet him now. Please welcome Derek to the show. Hello. How are you doing? Can I ask you if Miriam says one particular morning, 3 a.m., I don't know, did you call? I don't know, you, you must have called him? I called him. You, she calls you and says, let's hook up at 3 a.m. And, and you're best friends, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Surely a best friend would say, you are, got to, you've got to be kidding. You're in a relationship. Stick with that man and sort it out. Did, what did you say to her? Well, at 3 o'clock, I mean, the type of relationship that we have, you know what I'm saying? I feel like we can call each other anytime, anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not knowing what's going on in that house, but when she say I need to talk to you, you know what I'm saying? I'm going. I'm, I'm there. Did you, did you ask her what, you not, know, what's the Not on the phone. I didn't. But that's going to look shady, isn't it? No, not really. I mean, I don't see the shady. So you wouldn't mind if you, if you were in a relationship with, with a woman and she got up at 3 a.m. and went to meet her male best friend, you'd be cool with that? I mean, if we trust. Like, if we got trust and she can tell me ain't nothing going on, I'm going to believe it until I know I'm different. So. Hey, well, we don't know. So, you two never got to, to meet or talk or anything like that? Me and who? Sidarius. So no, I mean, I mean, I know him, I know of him, but we ain't never just really hung out and got a chance to know each other. Why? That's she, she never, never brought, us, you know brought us around each other. I'm, I'm, I'm marrying okay, his friend. Hang on, let's see. Let's see. Because I know how you I'm, are. I'm marrying his friend. I'm marrying his friend, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. First. Like, whoever she brings, that's on her. If she brings Sidarius over, it's cool. If she don't, I'm not going to say, hey, Sidarius, what's up, man? Let's, hon let's hang out. I don't Why? know him like that. He's not my homie yet. You know what I'm saying? That's, I'm marrying his friend, not Sidarius' friend. But surely you should be encompassing anyone she loves. If your girl got a male friend, bro, you probably know him. Is she, is right she, or wrong? Is, you're right, but if right she calls, no. if she calls, she they can talk. But that don't mean that she's sleeping with. If your girl gonna go on a walk with a male at three o'clock in the morning, she might if that's her best friend. But and you gonna let her? <laughs> yeah, and Rudolph's no. outside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just now, saying, you need to let go, bro. So Derek, is there any chance that you could be Sidarius Junior's daddy? No, I ain't no chance, cause I know I, I ain't. Me and Mary ain't never messed around like that. She could always call me. She can always come to me but and tell me. But there's never been any sexual relationship. I look at him none. like my big like my brother. Sister and brother. Like you know, none so of that. So what you look at me as? Your lawyer or something? <laughs> <laughs> we gonna find out when we go. Do you, you, you love him? I do. Sidarius, do you love her? Yeah, truly. You do? With but all you, my heart. But you need to sort this out. I do. I want to sort it out. I just want to know, like I said, if that's the case and they best friends and she is telling the truth, I'm willing to be his best friend, too. Because I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it can happen. I don't okay. know. It can happen. So, I think it's time we learn the results of the DNA test. So, let's get the results. <laughs> Derek. So... One of your concerns, Sidarius, is that Derek might be the father of this baby. I don't know what this envelope says. Who, who, who should open it? 
It's not me. I'm not the daddy. Can I, I know for a show. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Coming up. Before you say these results, I need to tell Sadir something. Oh, yeah. I love you with all my heart, but. Up next, two potential daddies. You gotta put a light cheating horse. You what? And a little girl caught in the middle. And he's not seen her in over a year. I love her. I love her. I love her. Introducing Mistakes by Nosy, the mobile gaming story app that puts you in control of your own thrilling adventure. With Mistakes by Nosy, immerse yourself in a world of thrilling choices and captivating stories. With hundreds of paths to choose from and new stories added regularly, you'll always have new mistakes to make. Download Mistakes by Nosy and play anytime, anywhere. Mistakes by Nosy, where every choice matters. Search Mistakes by Nosy in the Android and Apple app stores. Download Mistakes by Nosy now. Outrageous DNA drama. Today on Trisha. Please welcome Krista. Krista is furious at her estranged husband, Stephen, for denying her three-year-old daughter, Alison. You see, Krista and Stephen were high school sweethearts who eventually married. But, get this, after only six months, Krista left Stephen for his best friend, Chad. Now, Chad's here in our audience. Now, Stephen suspects Krista was cheating throughout their entire relationship and fears that Chad could be Alison's father. So first, let's hear Krista's side of this story. Our relationship was picture perfect. We were so in love. After many years of being together, we decided to get married and we had a little girl named Allison. After six months of marriage, he started treating me terribly by cheating on me. And he wanted us to have an open marriage. The only person I could turn to for help was Stephen's best friend, Chad. I never cheated on Stephen, and my relationship with Chad never started until I left the marriage. Stephen has never been a good father to Allison, and he's not seen her in over a year. Chad is a better father to her, and she calls him daddy. He's gonna feel real stupid when he realizes that he is the baby's daddy. Now, I want everyone to know that Stephen's own mother, Lois, is backstage, and she surprisingly sides with Krista. And you'll hear why in just a moment. But first, Krista, what's the most upsetting part of all of this? I guess just seeing him for the, for the first time in over a year and a half. And this is the first time you've seen him for a year and a half? What, you li <laughs> and what about your daughter, Alison? Has she seen him? Nope. What's he taking out on her, the fact that you ran off with his best friend? Yes. You definitely say that Allison is his child. He has to be. There's no way. I've never slept around. Me and Chad, we had nothing going on until over a year after Allison was born. So why does Stephen believe that then? I guess it's the fact that we, he sees us happy and he wants to come between us. That's the only thing I could think of. Now, Chad, you and Stephen were best friends from what age? Since third grade. And you ran off with his missus? It wasn't like that. that. I mean, it's not... It was not like that at all. How, how was it? How was it? Stephen changed. He pushed all of us away. Who does the little girl call daddy now? Chan. Oh. So, is there a, any possibility that, if not Chad, another man could be Allison's dad? No. I was not a cheater. I have never cheated on him. Okay. So. Just to set the record straight, I, I'll tell you this now, we also gave Krista a lie detector test. So... Uh, if the DNA test comes back and says, and confirms what you're saying, that Stephen is, is the father of Alison, do you think it'll make any difference? No. No? Oh, so why are we here? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Well... As you heard, Krista claimed she wasn't cheating on Stephen with Chad or any other man and, as I said before, took a lie detector test to, to prove it. But Stephen claims he was blindsided and betrayed. So let's listen to his side of the story. I need to know if Allison's really my daughter. I believe my wife Krista was cheating on me with my best friend Chad. I'm not allowed to see Allison and yet I'm paying child support for her. If the DNA test proves that I'm not the father, I want my name removed from her birth certificate. It pisses me off that my mom sides with my soon-to-be ex-wife 
and thinks that child is mine. Krista is a lying, cheating whore. How can my mom side with her? Chad should step up to the plate and admit that Allison is really his daughter. Allison is not my daughter, and I will not be a father to a kid that is not mine. Wow. Steven, come on out. You got to be a lying, cheating whore. Hey, and you know what? Hey, you know what? Hey, 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 sit down. Sit down. All right, Stephen, take me through. OK. You and Chad were very close friends. Yeah, we were, we were best friends. We were brothers. He used to come stay at my house. I used to stay at his house. We, we were best friends. Is it true that you asked for an open marriage? Uh, no, I did not. No, I did not. No. <laughs> She ran off with your best friend. You think that she and Chad were messing around while you were still married? Yes, I do. They're technically uh, still married now. Hard. Sorry? When the night... They're what technically still married now. Yeah, technically we still are married. Yeah. Okay, so why haven't you seen the little girl for, what, a year and a half? Mm -hmm. Because every time I call or my mom calls, uh, call? she, don't, she don't let us see it. Are you angry that you haven't seen Allison for a year and a half? Oh, yeah, I am angry. Well, just he did it to himself. He can't span, man up and be a man. Okay. Oh, what the hell? All right. It's funny. This is what's funny about it. Hang on. That, well, I'll tell you what's funny about it. Why should you be bothered about not seeing the little girl for a year and a half when you say she's not your daughter anyway? Be because at the very beginning, I had a bond with that little girl. I was there when she was born. I was there throughout the whole pregnancy. So you're saying you've been kept away from her? Exactly. How? Because... Because I'm, he won't text to ask to see her. He has other no, people do it for him. Yeah, I have my mom do it because I hate her. I can't stand her. He takes it out on her. To me, she's nothing but a piece of crap. Hey! Who watch you, sir? You watch it. Yeah. Let me say this. It takes two to make a relationship. It also takes two to break it. So you can't... Yeah. So, all right. So, let me ask you, Stephen. If the DNA test comes back and says that you are the father, what then? I'm hoping that Crystal will let me see my daughter. Instead of him, her calling Chad dad, she'll actually call me dad. Well, next... There's more than just these sides to the story because Stephen's mom, Lois, is here to tell us why her son is dead wrong and the DNA and lie detector test results are revealed, so stay with us. <laughs> Up next, one angry grandma. You are not a father, you don't you don't don't you. And later... Before you say these results, I need to tell Sadir something. Oh, yeah. I love you with all my heart, but... You are the father. You're a fuck fool. Outrageous DNA drama. Today on Trisha. We're back with Krista, her soon-to-be ex-husband, Stephen, and the man she's now in love with, Stephen's ex-best friend, Chad. Now, I guess you could call this a love triangle, and sadly, Krista's three-year-old daughter, Alison, is paying the price. You see, Stephen believes Krista was cheating with Chad during their marriage, and now he doubts he's Alison's father. Now, Krista says it's not true, and she agreed to take a lie detector test to prove it. But now it's time to meet Stephen's mother, Lois. So, Lois, come on out. to all of this. It's called a conversation. One person talks, the other person listens. Let's try it. Okay. Now, 
Do you have any doubts that Alison is your granddaughter? I have granddaughter? no doubt in my mind that she is my son. Would I be right in saying that this seems to be more about anger about uh, Chris, uh, about Krista ending up with Chad than the little girl? No. Uh-uh, because I love that little girl. But you're still angry. You're still angry yeah, with Chad. Yeah, I'm still angry at Chad. Well, yes, they, I uh, am. But hang on. Another spin on this is if your son maybe had been a better partner, she wouldn't have had to go to Chad. <laughs> Krista said we couldn't see Allison until the divorce was final. Did you? They were supposed to have her from Sunday to Thursday. Thursday, I tried to find out when I'm supposed to get my daughter back. No one responds. What if the DNA test comes back? I don't know what the results are. What if the DNA test comes back and says that your son isn't her daddy, which means you're not the That's grandma? That's going to rip my heart out because I love that little girl a lot. And I want to be in that little girl's life. OK, so what happens if the DNA test comes back and says that he is the dad? What do you want I to I want him to step up and take on his responsibility. Oh. He is responsible for her until well, she's hang on, just a minute. When you say step up, do what? What do you want him well, to do? Well, he pays child support, but I want him to call Krista. I want him to go pick her up. Why doesn't he do that we now? we can go together. Why doesn't he do that because now? Because he won't face Krista. He oh. hates her so much, he will not face her. So we're and getting the truth. you, too. And so All he has to do is call and contact for his daughter. He's not talking to us. So now we really work out what I said in the, in the beginning was true. This is more about you being angry with Chad than this little girl. She's just the one stuck in the middle. Yeah, because I don't get to see her. I, I get you. Her. I get you. But how long have you been with Chad now? You and Chad been together how long is it? Almost three years. Almost three years. Don't you think it's time to move along now? Well, if she'd let me see my granddaughter, yeah, well, I would. Well, we better find on. out if she cool. is. Let's find out if she is your granddaughter. <laughs> um, first, first, because one of the things you said about Krista, and I don't like to repeat this, that she was a lying this, that, and the other. You still believe that? Yes, I do. So now it's time to find out just how honest and upfront Krista has been with all of us today. And here to help us get to the truth is our polygraph examiner, Tim Acosta. Tim? <laughs> okay. So, Tim, are you ready with the results? Yes, I am. This Trisha. is where we all find out what's been said and if it's truth or if it's the lies. Okay. Krista's result. We asked you during your relationship with Stephen, did you have feelings? For Chad, you said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Krista... Up next, during your relationship with Stephen, have you had sexual contact with any person other than Stephen? Oh, you said yes. <laughs> Tim? And later. Before you say these results, I need to tell today or something. Oh, yeah. I love you with all my heart, but... Introducing Mistakes by Nosy, the mobile gaming story app that puts you in control of your own thrilling adventure. With Mistakes by Nosy, immerse yourself in a world of thrilling choices and captivating stories. With hundreds of paths to choose from and new stories added regularly, you'll always have new mistakes to make. Download Mistakes by Nosy and play anytime, anywhere. Mistakes by Nosy, where every choice matters. Search Mistakes by Nosy in the Android and Apple app stores. Download Mistakes by Nosy now. Outrageous DNA drama. Today on Trisha. After six months of marriage, he started treating me terribly by cheating on me. The only person I could turn to for help was Stephen's best friend, Chad. I never cheated on Stephen, and my relationship with Chad never started until I left the marriage. He's gonna feel real stupid when he realizes that he is the baby's daddy. I need to know if Allison's really my daughter. I believe my wife, Krista, was cheating on me with my best friend, Chad. You got the lie, cheating whore. If the DNA test comes back and says that you are the father, what then? I'm hoping that 
Christelle will let me see my daughter. Instead of him, her calling Ted dad, she'll actually call me dad. Care about my granddaughter, and you are not a father to her. What happens if the DNA test comes back and says that he is the dad? What do you want? I want him to step up and take on his responsibility. Oh. So now it's time to find out just how honest and upfront Krista has been with all of us today. Tim, are you ready with the results? Yes, I am. This is where we all find out what's been said and if it's truth or if it's the lies. OK, Krista's result. We asked you, during your relationship with Stephen, did you have feelings for Chad? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Krista was being truthful. During the year 2008, when Alison was conceived, did you have any sexual contact with Chad? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Krista was being truthful. We asked Krista, during your relationship with Stephen, have you had sexual contact with any person other than Stephen? Oh, you said yes. Tim? The polygraph determined that Krista was being truthful. Hang on, hang on. So while you and Stephen were together, you did get with somebody else? One time. Oh. Really? So, but the fact is, well, we need to find out who the father of Alison is. So are you ready to do that? Who wants to open the envelope? I will. I will. I want to. Uh, are we going to have a row about that? Oh, hang on. I've got two. Um, OK, so Chad, first of all, we've got Chad's DNA results. So, Chad, do you want to open those? Hey, these are your results. OK. Yeah, so let's read those. Do you want me to read those? Are you... Yes, please. Yeah, thank you. OK, let's see. Here we go. Chad, you are not Alison's father. Yeah. Oh, oh, maybe your son wants to open them. I don't know what it's going to say. Please. You want to open, open them? Open them. Open them. Stephen, you are Allison's father. Yeah. 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 I owe you this. For you, I have nothing to say to you. Hey! hey. 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 Just a minute. If you are going to parent this little girl, calling mummy all kinds of names, especially when a lie detector has proved you are wrong, shouldn't you be teaching that little girl the first lesson of life is to have the guts to say you are sorry when you are wrong? You know what? You're right. You're right. I am sorry. So, Stephen, I suggest you concentrate on having a relationship with the little girl and not trying to restart any kind of relationship with Mommy just to get back at a certain ex-best friend. Um, no, no, Tits, I want to do one more thing. One more thing? What is that? I want to apologise to Chad. Me, me and him, I'm not too... Okay, can I give you some advice here? If you want your little girl, Alison, to see Grandma and, and, and Stephen at all, talk with our counsellor how best to do that. And I'd suggest maybe you have our counsellor there with you while you do it. Because the little girl, you know, it, it's not about your feelings once you walk into that room. She does see Chad as dad. He's been her father figure there as well. So you don't want to ruin anything for the little girl. So please get together with our counsellor, work out how it's done, and with our counsellor, sort of being the mediator, get in to see the little girl. Is, is, is that OK? Yeah? <laughs> right. OK, we'll be right back. See you in a moment. Coming up... Before you say these results, I need to tell Sadie or something. Oh. Yeah. I love you with all my heart, but... You are the...
Outrageous DNA drama. Today on Trisha. I always promised myself that if I ever had children, that I'd be the best father I could be to them. So when I met my girlfriend, Miriam, I found out that she had got pregnant. You know, I was really overwhelmed with joy. But now my biggest fear is that I feel like Miriam has been cheating on me with her best friend, Derek. Is there any chance that you could be Sidarius Jr.'s daddy? No, I ain't no chance, because I know I ain't, I ain't, me and Miriam ain't never messed around like that. We're going to find out when the results come. So like I said, if that's the case of they best friends, and she is telling the truth, I'm willing to be his best friend, too. Because I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> One of your concerns, Sidarius, is that Derek might be the father of this baby. I don't know what this envelope says. Who, who, who should open it? It's not me. I'm not the daddy. Can I, I know for a sure. show. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, he's not the daddy. Now, now, let me get this in, bro. Step up. Be Thank a man. So, hey, all right, man. I told you. Be a man. I told you. I'm going to listen to me. Okay, never mind. Listen to me. All right, let's find out. Hang on just a minute, let's find out what... Now, the... you need to hold your son, you need to hold him Hang close. on, hang on. We just know that Derek's not the dad. Um, so... You want to open that, Sidarius? Can I get my baby? Yeah. 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 Can I get my baby? Hang on, let's go. Right, right. No. All right. Now, let's, uh, let's finish this. Let's finish this. As you all know, Miriam took a lie detector test administered by Tim Acosta, our private investigator and polygraph examiner. So, Tim, before, before you say these results, I need to tell Sadir something. Oh, yeah. It's just something I want you to understand. I don't have anything to hide from you, but in one of the questions they asked me, do I enjoy spending more time with you or am I in love with you? I'm not in love with you. I just want to explain this because I love you with all my heart. But I, right now, I feel like we're not in love. Well, let's work on it. I'm willing to work. I I'm told you once. I'm willing to work. I'm and willing both to work. of us willing are willing anything. to change. I'm willing to change. We have to change to make a relationship work. Exactly. We can't make nothing work if you stay here. All me. right, let's, let's go through the... I want to come back to this. Let's, let's go through. We asked you, have you ever had any type of sexual contact with Derek? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined. She was being truthful. Damn, I told you. I told you. We ask you, during your relationship with Sedarius, have you had any type of sexual contact with another man that he doesn't know about? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined Miriam was being truthful. What? What? And, and then the next question was, when we asked you, are you still in love with Sedarius? And the admission was that... what. She said it because of what's going on and how the relationship is and the accusations, she's not at this time. Okay. I've got to say, you know, when you choose, because we make decisions, when you choose to have somebody in your life as, as a parent, you know, of, of your child and what have you, you can still be friends. But I, I'm with Sedarius here because when you love somebody, you introduce them to all the other people you love. Right. And Derek, I'm just going to say, as a best friend, you have been a fantastic best friend because you've been there for her. Mm -hmm. But there's some point where a best friend who really cares about their friend and their relationships, I know my best fr male friend would, mm -hmm. he'd say, get the hell off this phone and go talk to your husband. Yeah. You got it sometimes. Yeah. yeah? All right? So, when you say, can I go and see my son? I'd like for you to say, can we go and see our son? That might be a good start. Yeah, can we go see our son? Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. You open your heart up a little bit. 